for three years and every single person that I speak to, we have a number of issues with absences that we don't have enough manpower. And so I'm concerned, even in a legal sense, that if everyone is telling me, including the chief who's running the department, the head of the union, that we don't have enough, if something bad happens, I think the fire district may be, have some issues there. So for me, if there's an issue, I'm not a professional. I don't know the numbers. And so while I say up here, I have a perception that we don't need this, I'd like to hear from a professional to say, Brian, you don't know what you're talking about. We need, 80, we need 25 people on a single day. In which case, I would not go against them, especially legally, and say, no, you're wrong. You don't know it. After spending you know, a lifetime in Firematic, I then, and I would commit to you today, say that I would be hiring those 25 guys. I'm not sure where, <laughs> where this this discussion about closing a firehouse is coming from. I personally will out never. Out of the report. Act. That's where we heard it, out of the report. He's just, he's just, they're just talking about an option from 1990-something. I know that. So don't let it don't let it get ripe and then years, come back again. Past, they wanted to close Chester Heights. Right. Number one, it started with the boiler in Chester Heights. The boiler was eating fuel like it was no tomorrow. Previous commissioners wanted to say, we might as well close the house and combine it. Mike, the budget is going to be $23 million. There's no single person saying we're going to close any firehouse. I, I don't think anybody wants to close a firehouse. You I know, don't. It could be... I can, I can poll my colleagues right now. Does anybody want to close a firehouse? I do not. I didn't hear this up here that people want to close a firehouse. No. I don't know why we're having the discussion. So let's make a motion for the study. Yeah. Let's make the motion for the study. I want to make a motion for the study. Okay. Is there a second? I'll second it. Thank you, Paul. I'll call the roll. Commissioner Laurie? No. Commissioner Manalone? Aye. Commissioner Keating? Yes. Commissioner Roach? No. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. He's got I'll, he's, I'll abstain. He's got one more vote. Let him get let him make it. <laughs> uh, motion failed. Thank you. Okay. That's all. All right, cool. Next, we have uh, transfers, and I, I added to the agenda because we have two people came to us about a month ago asking about transferring. Commissioner Kading mentioned that we should hire as many transfers as possible. Um, I'm not sure why, uh, but he thought we had a very successful transfer take place about a year ago. Um, I think we did. I think it was great. Steve? Um, great. Thank you. Great right. Um, that being said, we got you know I have, I have no desire to ever transfer again. Um, we've got plenty of folks, or kids on the list in town, that are waiting to get on this job. Why do you want to transfer in people that already have a job um, in a fire district um, to us I, at not and not at a first year pay? Has that that saving us any money? So I don't, I don't see the logic behind that. You want to hire people? We got a, a list full of people, a list full of kids who want to get on this job here in town, um, local, and that's what I think we should do. The, okay, I think it was successful. The uh, president of local 916 says it's successful. Chief Tween, successful or not? Yeah, the, the one transfer that we made was working out Su very successful. well. Successful. Yeah. Well, well okay. hold on a second. the idea was we we wanted to do a transfer that time because we needed we needed live bodies. We needed them fast. It took nine months to get them on. We need more bodies now. Wait, it took nine months to get them on. I want to hire them. It took nine months to get him on. We could have had two classes passed with kids coming in on first year pay. He came in a third year pay. It, I don't know how, you, how it was, you could say it's successful, but let's say it was. We got one guy in nine months. We could have had five or six kids in six months. Um, I can answer that. Chief, okay. are we, in the last 20 years, have you always been left in a position, and you may have to speak for other commissioners, have you always been left in a position to say, we should have hired, we should have hired. And this interim that always seems to happen where you are left because you're waiting timing wise on being able to hire or the board receptive to being able to hire, that you can place somebody. Well, many times it's, uh, it has to do with when the Career Fire Academy is run. It usually runs in March and it usually runs in September. So if somebody retires in April and now it's too late to hire somebody for the March Academy, you have to wait till the September Academy. So, you know, you may have a six month period where you're gonna be running short on that retirement. So, um, yeah, there have been times, you know, and it's not unusual that, um, you know, the timing of it, sometimes it's, you know, either in, in the middle of between when the academies are running 
or you know when an academy has just started or you know sometimes it's certain people retire and, you know the month before an academy and that way we're able to hire to replace that position so it, it you know it runs the gamut of right correct I want to thank you personally for supporting that it was instrumental I also want to uh, thank Steve for doing that I mean it was yeah. huge and we'll always have that yeah. so thank you both for doing that and especially Tom Roach. Well, well, you know, the board at the time failed to make a motion to hire for the March class, so the transfer made sense uh, because I thought it would happen uh, pretty quickly. But as Commissioner Carlo said, it took nine months, and, and it came after the purpose. It, it, yeah, it, we all the vacations are in the summertime. Minute. That's when we needed nine the manpower for before minute. the summer started not afterwards right again it's too late we were the, the manpower of will come back it, it, it'll come you know it, it doesn't make sense now because it, it like you said they're going to class coming up they, they're, they're sending a group of gentlemen to the CPAT uh, you know and and the, the third grade pay really hurt the the options you know to hire them at a higher rate rather than the starting pay it, it just is the, the economic economical benefit diminished we weren't control we were not in control of what civil service would do we just were not despite the fact that we make those decisions for ourselves right we weren't in control of that and we couldn't do it. but we did everything we could we worked very diligently and, and hard to get that done right and now and Steve will uh, understand this there's precedent for doing it quite quickly now Okay, well, that being said. But so, so if I don't have a second, so be it. No second? All right, move on. Okay. So, yeah, we're going to have people, we're going to have new kids in the class in, in, in the spring, most likely. And quite frankly, if you want to beef up each tour, then, you know, put, give the guys some overtime. Yeah, I'm sure they'd love it. And we'll save a few bucks that way, too, instead of paying benefits and everything else. So, nothing ever, nothing wrong with, nothing ever wrong with running short. Until you, until you get to where you want to be, uh, I know, as far as full staffing. Um, right, but we don't want to be running short like we were. No, um, no, no, I'm not saying like six, seven, eight guys short. I mean, exactly. if we run two guys short, if we had to, I think Steve would agree. Uh, it's, it's not the end of the world. And again, like I said, you get some overtime with these guys, and everybody's happy. And you save a few bucks. Let's do the study. Hire the guys. We will never run short. I got support from two rattle loans. I go vote. <laughs> <laughs> I said support, not a, not an affirmative response. Okay, so we're good with transfers. No transfers. I don't have a second. Okay, no transfers. Lastly, we have a check from Garth Woods, Owners Corporation. This may help you. I need another tea, but then there we go. Oh, thank you. I think we've done it before too, I believe, yes. So we have a check from Garth Woods thanking us. We thank you for your service and wish everyone a happy and, health and safe holiday season from the Garth, Road, Garth Woods Owners Corporation. So it was for $150 uh, with a note, Merry Christmas. So a motion here to accept donation. Motion to accept donation from Garth Woods Owners Corp by Bar Height and Halsinger, Inc. 77 Pondfield Road, Bronx, New York, in the amount of $150. Nation was made with no specifications and will. So, James, I'm going to give that to you to I guess, deposit to the appropriate account. Well, we have to so vote. Okay, yeah, so I'll make a motion. Second. Second. I'll call the roll. Commissioner Laurie. Aye. Commissioner Ranallo. Aye. Commissioner Keating. No. Commissioner Roach. Aye. Commissioner Carlin. Aye. Commissioner so Carrie. We're going to have a clam bake with this? <laughs> <laughs> and it came unrestricted. Six clams. So it just goes into the general account. Yeah, we've got, we've got them before, too, yeah. Okay, uh, Local 916. Commissioner Roach, it's our last meeting. I'm sure uh, <laughs> you're going to miss as much as I do. Uh, it's a pleasure working with you all these years. Thank you for all you've done for the community, the district, and uh, the firefighters. And I'd like to thank all the commissioners for what they've done over the years. Commissioner Kitty, you've been my favorite commissioner. I have to say that. Uh, and uh, good luck to all of you. Happy, happy holidays. And it was a pleasure. Thanks Still don't like me, Steve? And, and the same to you, Steve. <laughs> thank you. It was uh, a a great honor to work with you. You're, you're a gentleman. Thank you. Thank Steve, you. it's the first time I've been told in public, at a public meeting, that I'm lying, <laughs> that I couldn't resist but to give you a hug for it. So <laughs> that's it, how it I feel about you. It just goes to show you the restraint of all the other members. Yeah. <laughs> that's um, how I feel about you. 
Mike, any, any comments? Huh? Yes, as a taxpayer in town, I wish you the best of health, you and your family, Commissioner. Thank you, Michael. Retirement of the Board of Fire Commissioners. And I also appreciate your dedication to the fire district. You're here all the time. You have excellent things to say. You're very supportive. Uh, sometimes we may agree, sometimes we might disagree, but that's great. That's part of the public discussion, and it makes it worthwhile, and I think you're a great asset to the fire district. May the win always be at your back, my friend. <laughs> Thank you, brother. Okay. One other thing I want to say, when is the red truck coming back, as my grandson would say, mm. <laughs> the firehouse, Brian? Uh, we're we're trying to get the uh, contractor for the next phase. They're you know have to do the ADA upgrades. They're going to uh, renovate uh, one bathroom in the old deputy chief's office. Going to become a second bathroom. They have to put in a heating system, and they have to do a handicap ramp up to the front door. Uh, so you know I anticipate that's going to take a couple months still. So. You know. about six months more? Uh, I hope not. not. <laughs> yeah, we all, our lease is only until February 28th. Okay. So, I'll yeah. put the boiler in here. So 1865, it's still here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, yeah, the, the <laughs> floor is good. Right. His name is still on there. there. Downstairs. And, you know, <laughs> we have to straddle the, over, the overhead door machinery, yeah. but, you know, it fit in there. So Looks good. it can hold the uh, truck, and the truck height-wise, it fits. You I, know, th I it. think it would be really nice when the house does come back to life fully that um, we put it in the bulletin, and mm -hmm. uh, the people of Chester Heights or the people of the town of East Chester, Tucker and Bronxville, come and visit the house and wish the firemen, firefighters, good luck and, and maybe have something, cake or coffee. Yeah, well, something Just, nice. You know, something yeah. nice like that to, you know, present um, to we'll, the public. We'll, we'll chip know. in. We'll, we'll have, have to bring your own coffee, though. Yeah, okay. <laughs> we got $150. Use the 150 bucks? <laughs> 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 Got 150 we bucks for coffee ever. today. <laughs> yeah. We cannot buy, we cannot throw a party. Uh, but we could do a dedication and have right. a ceremony that and, you know, nice. let the public know. So right. we could definitely do that. But it does prove one thing. We're not closing any firehouses. No. Nah. Uh, we put a lot of money into that firehouse. You'll see only that rhetoric from one person in 50 years. Nobody ever, there's nobody who will ever close a firehouse. It's just not going to happen. <laughs> okay, um, but if it were, I'd be Chester Heights. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. It's just a joke. Okay. Are we on commissioners? <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. Yeah. So uh, as far as commissioner, I'm just going to say a quick. I want to introduce Mr. No. Sarasi here to the public. I uh, came tonight to what is to attend the first meeting as a newly elected. So welcome, Mr. Sarasi. If you want to say a few words, be more. Please stand here. behind. Come up this way if you want to. <laughs> hey, put you on the spot there. Sure, no, right here. Right Don't yeah, worry, of course. it's a great job. At, it's a great job. Congratulations. And the pay is great. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck to you. Thank you. Thank you. Anthony. Thank you. The pay is great. It is great. Oh, yeah. I already told him what it was. <laughs> and then they wonder what was wrong with you, right? I'm looking forward to working with you. I'm looking forward to working with the board, the uh, Firefighters Union. Uh, just a little about myself, long time residents. My family's been here over 100 years. Wow. Uh, I was a detective, first grade in Yonkers for 38 years. I ran the security in uh, the Empire City Casino for 14. And I really look forward to moving this department forward. So uh, we'll go from there. I do see that uh, big shoes I have to go on. Thank you. You'll do fine, believe me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. All right, Commissioner Comments. Anthony? Um, I, first, I want to welcome Commissioner-elect um, Sarasi here. Um, as Tom says, the pay is great, okay? <laughs> I didn't say that, but... It, it, and, and the public should know we're, we don't get paid. <laughs> well, that was only a joke. Well, now that Commissioner-elect Sarasi's here, the two commissioners here with the name Paul, uh, thought that they were going to get away with it. So now we have two Pauls, two Anthonys, and two Bryans. <laughs> so we're, we're all deuces over here. <laughs> but I do want to welcome Commissioner Sarasi. I've known him for a long time. I know his family, his wife's family. I went to school with his brother. In fact, I was one of his altar boys when he got married. If he looks in his wedding album, he'll see me there. So I, I do welcome you and wish you, wish you good luck for the next five years. Okay? Uh, also, on a sad note, like I says, um, and the chief says, we're closing this meeting in honor of um, John Lucenti. And tomorrow evening, we're attending his wake at the Westchester Funeral Parlor at 7 o'clock. 
all those who want to come with us, welcome to come with us. And um, uh, John's been around, a hometown boy also, he's been around all his life. Uh, I remember when John first got in the hook and ladder, me and Paul were just newly uh, recruits in, in the hose company. We were right next door, had our meetings same nights, and um, we all worked together. It was a real exciting uh, firehouse down there. And John worked very hard over here for all the years that he was here. He did a lot of voluntary time too. So wherever you are, John, I, I wish you the best. You were one of our best. And uh, the last thing I want to say is um, not goodbye to Commissioner Roach. Uh, I got to know him for the last five years and he's been a good asset here. And uh, I hope you don't shy away from us either. And I do want to wish you good luck, you and your family. Thank you for your five years of service. And whenever I see you walking, I won't yell at you anymore. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But also wish everybody a happy holidays, whatever holiday you, you celebrate. Good luck to you and your families, and God bless you all. See you next year. Okay. Thank you. I have some comments, uh, Paul. Uh, Trevor, Steve, total absences. Oh. Kidding, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> no, no comments. All right. Um, in the last month, um, I attended the Veterans Day ceremony at Lake Isle on November 11th, along with Commissioner Laurie. Um, on and November the chief, too. and the other chief uh, on November 29th, Commissioner uh, Carlo also uh, on November 29th attended the uh, hose drill at Parkway Oval that uh, Lieutenant um, uh, Di Rienzo uh, uh, was in charge of. On December 1st, attended local 916 Christmas party at Molino's with Commissioner Carlo and Commissioner Laurie and the chief and the chief. <laughs> Uh, December 12th, interviewed candidates for assistant chief and captain, along with the, all the board members. Uh, last night, voted in the commissioner election, and um, I should say on the 13th, and on the 14th, attended the retirees' luncheon at house today, this, this afternoon. Um, and also, wish everyone a very happy holidays. And to my to, uh, firefighter Randall and my brother, who, See you on Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> who has been president of the union 20, how many no. years? <laughs> I, probably the longest serving president the union has had, and uh, he's done uh, a good job for them. He, he was a great leader for them. Thank you. He'll be sorely missed, I'm sure. Uh, mm. I saw him. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, good luck. Thank you. Thank you. I want to congratulate Commissioner-elect Anthony Sarasi, and I wish him a great uh, bidding in his uh, upcoming work for the district. And, and if you need any assistance, please feel free to reach out to me and just uh, to throw a few questions at me if you need to. I don't think you will. Here in your background, I'm sure you have a great idea of what you want to accomplish. I want to thank the citizens of Eastchester for putting their confidence into me and voting me you know, I was asked to do this. I, I had no idea of what it would entail, so I accepted the invitation, and uh, I did my best. Uh, I'm sure that you all found out I'm a fiscal conservative. I tried to save you as much money as possible while still providing the greatest uh, fire protection possible. Uh, I achieved some and failed others. Uh, I apologize for my failures. I hope that my successes continue uh, with the remaining board. And I wish you all a Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays, Happy Hanukkah, Happy New Year's, and uh, the East Chester Fire Department will certainly go on. And that's good news for everyone. And I thank the board members for all their uh, comadre and working together. Uh, I think we did as uh, well as we did. This meeting may not prove it, but I think that we did try to work together and, and accomplish what was best for the uh, East Chester Fire District. So thank you again. Thank you. Oh, yes, I'm, I'm sorry, I forgot to mention you also, Tom. Uh, Not to it's worry. been a pleasure working you, with you for the last two years and also walking with you for the last <laughs> year and a half. Uh, I just want everybody to know that Tom and I walked from Garth Road up to the Kensico Dam and back and along the parkway. And uh, Tom, we yelled at you. 
<laughs> from the bus. <laughs> and no discussions of fire district. But, uh, uh, you know, uh, so good luck in the, in the future, and we'll see if we can get working together again someday. Yeah. Thank you for your service. Thank you for your. You're five more than welcome, Chief. It was, it was nice getting so to know you. Good working with you, and thank you for your service, and happy holidays, Merry Christmas. Thank you, thank and you. to you and your family, thank you. and yeah. to everyone. <coughs> thank you, Tom. Thank you for the transfer. <coughs> Seriously, that's a big deal. It was. Uh, okay, any other comments? Steve, thank you. Like I said. Being, being called a liar, a lying, and liar, but lying in public, I still felt you never meant it. So I appreciate that. And uh, we do, everybody's got to do their job. Yeah. So appreciate it. You were good. This is not personal. Yeah, no, it's, I'm going with you hiking. What, what day did we leave? 25th. All right, I'm there. Okay, great. Well, uh, you know, we, we, we had a good year. I think we had a good year as far as bringing on new people. Yes. Um, I look forward to next year. We'll see what happens. So again, congratulations to Sarasi there for coming on board, uh, for Steve for your support over the years. Um, yeah. And we're going to close with a few moments of silence for John Lucente. Yeah. Thanks for everybody. I think you have to make a motion to, uh, to, make a motion to uh, close the meeting. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Great. Have a great night. Great holiday.